Hello ladies, hello everyone. Welcome back to Salty Reflections. My beautiful wife and I, Stephanie, have been taking you down this beautiful beach in Beaufort, South Carolina. Uh, we've been coming across quite an amount of seashells on this journey with you guys. You can see our wagon is getting full. We're picking up the beach trash as we go. We have some sea urchins, sand dollars, angel wings, driftwood looks like a little gun no i said the same thing and in the last part of our shelling journey i was walking up the beach with this handful of shells right here that i had picked up down uh in the spartina grass area the roots and stuff of it where the divots are while stephanie was bringing everybody else along on the channel down the beach and you know my hands were full and i posted a thing on the facebook group page telling everybody you know look my hands are full my wife's down the beach she's stuck in shell heaven it was something like that but anyhow check that out to facebook you know salty reflection and this is what i was picking up down there oh you found a bullet casing nice one of the military bullet casings probably out of our area we think they're 50 caliber but i have no idea on the bottom of it here it's just got sl 43 maybe somebody else might know a little bit more about that type of casing trying to get it all in my hand we here. found um what eight or ten of those out here so yeah, far we've got a little jar full. okay then here's another one of the sea urchins that steph's been picking up along the way a couple of the south carolina state shells nice ones the olive shells they yeah them are really nice specimens look at that sheen that shine so and one of the five hole keyhole sand dollars a beautiful beautiful big whelk right steph what yeah, you think of that it one it is gorgeous it's probably one of the prettiest ones of today so far how would that there look with a little bit of mineral oil on it or dipped in some muriatic acid to bring out those colors because you can see it's dried a little bit and once you put this thing in the water or with the minerals and the muriatic acid it'll brighten it up and bring out those colors the in oranges, it oranges the blues blacks so Please. that's what we're doing we're taking you guys on a real life journey down a beach right here in south carolina the two yapping south kakalakis that's right Matter of fact, for those of you who were on the video before, you they, I told them, Oliver, you were probably ready for me to come rescue you and get some of those finds out of your hands. Look at there. Well, imagine that. Look how long I was gone. I need somewhere to put my beach treasures too, Steph. That's what I always say whenever I'm running behind you with the car. I see a little welt right there. See? I mean, when you got them good eyes you spot these things all up and down the beaches Ooh, look at there and that pretty orange too sand stuck in it so for the ones of you that don't know me by now i like to cut up i like to have a good time but my real objective is is to create these videos for ladies and stuff that maybe they can't get out and do this type of stuff anymore and even gentlemen that enjoy this type of shelling and looking at shells and learning about shells stephanie has taught me a lot in the videos and i continue to try to share them with these people yeah y'all i mean we just everybody that i know enjoys a good beach day every once in a while so it's good to have a good beach day let's see what we're seeing i was talking here. about a little bit of that in the last video so if you're new to our channel make sure you hit that subscribe button come along with us on our other journeys and adventures because we love to get out here on and around this water as much as possible Over and enjoy the day showing videos now for you guys on look, youtube to look through so that's you're hours and hours of hours and hours walking up and down the beach you're more than welcome to take a look at all, all 200 of those or 200 and something i'm not too sure and we do divide the videos up into some playlists so those of you who are only interested in shelling can you know can click on that and subscribe to that or add that playlist to to their um channel or to their page 
so that way they can get notifications whenever that happens whenever we post new shelling videos but we also love to crab and shrimp and fish so we do a little bit of everything and we break it up into a playlist so you can watch everything or you can just watch what you like Ooh, look at the purples and that moon snail beautiful Gorgeous. That's probably the nicest moon snail of the day. Yeah, definitely. We haven't found many this. But we haven't we found have any this in big. In the past, found some in the videos throughout the videos. You know, they might have been two and a half, three inches in diameter. Right. Yeah. This is the nicest, big, pretty one today. Well, right here. Look at this little one right here behind your feet. They're just everywhere out here sometimes. Well, I have a tendency to focus on the bigger shells. I love to find those big shells. We love big shells and we cannot lie. I don't know why. I do not know why, but I do. I see it too. Ooh, and I see a big one right there. Oh, oh that's a, uh, ooh. That's <laughs> no, you didn't. He did not. Y'all saw me find that. And we'll get this one first. Cause this is a pretty one. It does have a little beat up hole in it, but when it's sitting down, you cannot tell it and so, check this out yeah and all of our times of coming out here throughout like 200 over 200 videos now guys this is probably only the 12 to 15 of these giant eastern murex shells that we found right Ooh, look at this beauty too gorgeous oh love it love it And it is just black. Now, oh. for the ones of you, the shells of you that have cleaned your shells with muriatic acid on a shell that is in that state right there, what do you think that it would do to it? Um, would it clean it up? Would it be uh, so old because it's very worn and stuff? Would it just decompose it too much? Or would you just, you know, go ahead and just leave it in its natural condition like this? We usually just rinse them off. Yeah, and I'm just digging the dirt out of it while he's talking to you about it. Yeah. But I did see these other two beauties right here, too, just because of how orange their insides are. And there's one right there on the other side of Oliver that has broken a big black one. But look how beautiful that trio right there is. And stuff. There's a little one right there also. To the right. No, I see it right here yep it's a little small one and look at how dark these are so you know they're coming washing probably right out of this pluff mud that's right here in this area let me get let me get these in the wagon this is a very unique looking little olive shell here oh yeah really pretty and a black and white stripe. That's definitely a different pattern olive than the ones we find because ours is normally what? The lettered olive? Right. And they have little markings on them that almost look like letters is why they're considered the lettered olive. This is the one that I mentioned that was right on the other side of him. And from this angle, it is, you know, full, but it is broken there. Oh, look at all that coral on it though. Oh, pretty, pretty. It's got a lot of sand on it and it's filled with little boring holes all over. So, another little whelk skeleton there. Wow. There's just so much to see. It's hard to bounce around and look at it all. I saw something orange kind of from the angle a while ago. Look at that shorebird. Check that out. Kind of glass. It's got the plastic in between it. Oh, look at there where that one was broken. And it's probably these, the quahog clams here that have the rust colors on them. 
that I saw the orange of. Oh, that giant Eastern Murex, that was the one of the day. Look at this little pear wilk. And this is one of those that if I were, you know, somebody who liked to clean my shells and, and not leave them natural, you could peel all these little barnacles off and all that little matrix, that protozoan matrix build up there. You can scale all that off, get back to the more natural colors. Big wilt here, but won't won't. It's busted on this side. Got a sea urchin there. Another little whelk here. Covered in little oysters. Got oysters growing inside of it and on the outside. Try to gather this all back of my hands. Having the same problem Oliver said he was having earlier. Got to try to catch up with the wagon so I can put my goodies down so I can keep finding more. Oh, he found something. That's why he stopped. Well, good. At least he found something. You got two things there. Well, I wanted to tell you guys something too before we show you these two things. I've learned with stuff to pull the cart myself see that way i keep her you know coming on down that beach yeah i was just whining to them about it wee, wee. check out these any of you guys ever heard that song whine cry and complain <laughs> this is a little bust first introduced by oliver chavis <laughs> whine cry and complain This is the channeled whelk and the knobbed whelk. You can see the difference there. Pretty, pretty. I picked up another one of those uh, spiny sea urchins also. Wow. Look what Steph just pointed out. That orange color. The orange inside of these blue and black ones, those are just lovely, aren't they? Who would not love those? I mean, who could just walk down the beach and leave these? That well, I know we can unbelievable to me. No, I can't. Like I said, I'm a shell hoarder. I'm sorry, not sorry. If I tried to walk down the beach, and leave it i'd be in trouble right stuff well i'd probably just have a handful behind you trying to pick them up <laughs> trying to catch up that's what i was talking about i've learned to pull the car <laughs> me and Steph love having a good time how about that big piece of driftwood laying up there pretty huge that'd make a pretty bench around the fire pit somewhere Whew. it'd be the devil to come and get it I bet you could cut some pretty boards out of it, but no, it looks kind of hollow. You want me to pull the wagon for a while? Nah. You know what the Ooh, next thing will be? There. Two Twins. side by side. 
They're both a little bit chipped up on the sides. You don't want them then? Yeah, I still do probably. Well, I know you got to put them with your jar full back at the house, right? Yeah. Oh, look at the pink and orange right here laid turned upside down in the sand. You grab it, Steph. That's yours. You want me to show it? To I want you to have it. He always likes me to show y'all these shells, and he wants to show y'all like the fish and the crab and the shrimp. He likes to pretend he doesn't love these beauties. I just love coming out here. I just love to come out here and walk. I mean, I'm getting old. I need some exercise in my life. I'm about to order, I want to rinse this Murex off, and let me take a little better look at it. You can see all the little points on it and the spines. And they are worn some. And because of the coloration of it, I assume it's pretty old and probably been buried in our pluff mud here for quite some time. But gorgeous, gorgeous. Giant. So excited to find it. Giant, giant Eastern Murex. Murex, Murex. I like tomato, tomato. It's M-U-R-E-X. We say Murex, but every once in a while somebody does I ain't us. getting to say too much of nothing. <laughs> today. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> That's okay. We're having a good time with you guys. What better way to come out here and entertain ourselves besides shelling? I almost whistled just then, didn't I? When I said that. You whistle while you work? Yeah. Shelling and video and talking to yourselves into a camera. Yep. Something might be a little bit wrong with your stuff. <laughs> oh, look at that big old shell up there. It's broke. Yeah, it is broke. Oh, man. Back, but it was broke too. Got to check it out though. Check what out? That crab back, I had to check it out when I seen it. I didn't see it. We got a ton of treasures though, right? We do. Because, like you said before, we needed a few more shells around our house. Like this one with this coral on it. Pretty, pretty. And you can see it off in the distance for the ones of you always leaving it in the comments. Did we make it to the track code today? We made it. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the subscribes. Over 11,000 subscribers now. And I guess this beach loving guy here and that little beach loving lady right there is very, very happy. See how she does me? I'm trying to talk to you guys and she can't keep her eyes off of these shells. I didn't want him to step on it. It was right in his line of walking. I guess that's what makes us special. I don't know. Are we special or just ordinary? I feel ordinary myself. We're ordinary special people. That's right. It takes a special kind of person to um, be a seashell holic like we are, right? Yeah. We're and not the, just saltaholics. We're shellaholics too. Not just shellaholics and saltaholics and crabaholics and this and that and the other, but we're also YouTube video creators, right? We are. We just love coming along, taking people along on the things that we love to do, shrimp trawling, crabbing, fishing, shelling, it don't matter down or on the coast of South Carolina most of the time. But every once in a while in our videos, we do get out. We get to see the world a little bit. And every now and then, 
if you guys are lucky and you hit that subscribe button you'll get to go on those videos also right Steph? that's right we're here in the southeast of the united states in south carolina so if you know some beaches that are you know kind of in the vicinity let us know we we've explored some but we hope to be able to explore more and more so There's the big track hook buried out here. Probably come out to these islands to venture out, maybe to drive some pylons at one of the houses on down the beach or something, and ended up stuck right here on this beach in South Carolina. We're going to have to take a look down in the creek with them at least. Uh, there's always, you know, shells in this little um, creek or that's washing out. And look here also. Oh, I didn't even see that one. I saw the one I almost stepped on. And another thing, guys, when we coming out here, now you can see. Our wagon is getting full of sea treasures. happy shellers well that makes it for me bogging down yeah it's super soft sand on this side of the island yeah i might have to get on some hard sand stuff i'm bogging down Whew. wow across there to grab this one because I saw those orange spikes sticking up that would have been a really nice big one but did find these nice big ones and look at all the pitted holes in that one from Very the boring neat. sponge very very cool You can see what I did. I stood right here and I rested for a minute. I'm telling you, this this sand is soft. This thing is getting heavy, you guys. We got a ton of treasures. Oh my lord! I'm seeing three or four or five down through that area right there alone. And I know what you could do. You better um grab this here. Got blood on my hands. And pick those up. And I'll help you transport them to the car if you want. Okay, there's one here. You want to rinse them? I don't really want to rinse them. Look right at here, now. another Murex. 
Oh man. <laughs> I'm glad you stopped right there. You were only I knew two feet away. There. I seen it. You were only two I'm feet away. You guys, I seen it. Look at me. <laughs> I didn't see it. There's one there. But that is uh, awesome. That's a better uh, example of it there. You got to rinse that Two one times in one day, that's awesome. And look, it's just been sitting here hanging out in this mud. Or this is more the beach sand. And that's probably why it's still more so the white color. And look here, coming up right here. You can show them that one in a second. Another one. Dang, well, that was a big one right there in the water too. But check out that. Two Eastern Murexes, same day. How exciting. We hate to be picking up all these shells down here in Beaufort, South Carolina along the coastline. You know, we're piling them up. Uh, they're just our treasures and we love them. We thank each and every one of you guys for coming along. Look at this. We sure do. We sure do. We thank y'all for all the comments that y'all leave us. The love that you share with us. We sure appreciate it. Look at here. Oliver said we got to get going and move a little faster. Got to go. We're losing daylight. Uh, hour to hour and a half from sundown, and we're still a mile, mile and a half back to the boat, and then an eight mile ride to the boat landing, and then on to the house. Right. I think we're gonna have to call it stuff. I mean, I think we showed them all the treasures we can at this point. There's Do you want to keep going? Do you guys want to keep going? Y'all want to keep shelling with us? I don't right. hear you. But it's going to be, uh, <laughs> y'all wanted to go. So now it's going to be, you know, a fast walk though. We got to move at a fast pace. Steph's got to quit messing around. I'm trying to see this We're one. picking up so many shells. The wagon's getting full. I can't take this pressure much longer. Wee, wee, wee. Isn't that what y'all hear? Look at That's that. That's what I hear. Is Way. that a picture right there? Just a shell wagon. How about this picture? What? Dang it. You got me on that one. You got it. I'll pick them up for you. All right. Yeah, because I'm going to put these in the wagon as we go. We do have a wagon load of Wilkes today. Wow. We hit the mother load right here on this South Carolina barrier island today, right? That's right. Let's go. Let's get on back down this beach. We're going to go down this way. 30 minutes. Yeah, but I don't care. They wanted to come along. Well, come along a little bit. We're not going to be able to venture out any further that, that way today, guys. See, I got to be the one that worries about getting us back to the boat at, you know, a good time, getting us back to the land and getting us home safely. Steph, all she wants to do is shell, shell, shell. She won't stop. Don't stop. Get it, get it. You ever heard that? What is that orange right there? Seaweed. Boy, them shells are jingling back there, aren't they? I really haven't made up my mind which way I'm going to go yet, Steph. I mean, I know we need to go in that direction. 
whether we go there 12 foot or up there 15 foot we still got to go on back to the boat Man, I almost had to walk back. This thing here caught my eye and I need to get out of here. Wow. How many of you would have walked by, by walk back and pick this up or would you just keep walking wasn't it pretty i seen it when she started going towards it got a pretty color you seen it once she started going towards it come on now did you see it before me or? no i didn't see it before you i only seen it once she started heading back that way because i was like look at him just saying we need to go we need to go and then he's going the opposite direction <laughs> and that ain't no fast forwarding in the video either guys <laughs> come on stuff what is that there what is that okay that's the tail off of one of the horseshoe crabs will slow down a little bit just because I couldn't keep up the pace the way the sand is, all the little animal like I don't even know what animal does this some sort of worm or something in the sand but it's, it's all like a big pile did we already come down this no, spot we, okay we was walking that way. we was over there new spot <laughs> we getting that workout on right stuff that's right and believe it or not as you guys know we do find lots of other shells other than whelk shells that's just the ones that like i guess have stolen our heart well you can see that we found different shells right but we tend to collect a lot of the whelk shells because they are pretty unique like i said you know any shell collector would love to collect whelk shells so <laughs> i hear that all over all the time that they people live if they lived in the place where they had whelks well certain things are just common to certain areas we just happen to be in a really good area for the whelk shells i have actually seen people take uh dump truck loads of them and dump them off the sea walls in this area just to help to support from erosion what like I call like concrete riffraff where they dump like debris and sections of concrete down the seawall and do that to the shells. Oliver has showed and that. And I'm a few sure times. that the the ones that you know have got those dump truck loads, they're probably getting them from some kind of processing center. Because yeah, the whelks are a delicacy to eat. And we have eaten whelk before. We have tried the whelk. We sure it's, certainly it's have. Very much like conch. Like How about that piece of driftwood laying up there, Stan? It is pretty. So 
though. This might be a good time in the video to jump on your treadmill <laughs> walk with us. Yeah. Walk along the beach with us. That is a great idea for those of you guys who like to to watch. If you if you do exercise and walk on treadmills or ride elliptical or I don't know what you would call it, run on the elliptical or whatever, this would be a great time to do that. The sun's going down. It's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful walk back to the boat. Big broken uh, angel wing there. Oh yeah, along with some pretty feathers. I have some people ask about feathers sometimes. We do see lots of feathers at times. 